June 16th, Saints Syricus and Julita, when the edicts of Diocletian against the Christians were being enforced with great severity, Julita, a widow, judged it prudent to withdraw from a district where she occupied a prominent position and seek safety in obscurity under a more clement rule. With her three-year-old son, Syricus, and two maidservants, they fled and ended up in Tarsus. Her arrival, however, proved ill-timed. It coincided with the arrival of officials from her old hometown, and they recognized the little party. Almost immediately, Julieta found herself under arrest and in prison. Brought up for trial, she appeared before the court, leading her child by the hand. She was of noble lineage and had great possessions, but in answer to questions as to her name, her position, and her country, she would give no other reply than that she was a Christian. She was accordingly condemned to be racked and scourged. Before the sentence could be carried out, Syricus was separated from her in spite of her tears and protestations. He is described described in the legend as a very attractive child and the governor we are told took him upon his knee in a vain attempt to pacify him the boy had ears and eyes only for his mother piteously he held out his hands toward his mother as she was being racked and when she exclaimed i am a christian he cried out i am a christian too finally in a desperate struggle to release himself in order to get to her the child kicked the governor and scratched his face with his little nails his action natural enough in such circumstances roused the governor to anger seizing the child by his foot he hurled him down the steps leading to his tribune fracturing his skull and killing him on the spot instead of exhibiting distress julietta exultantly gave thanks to god for granting to her child the crown of martyrdom her attitude only increased the governor's rage after her sides had been torn with the hooks he ordered that she should be beheaded and that her child's body should be cast out of the city with the carcasses of malefactors after her execution julietta's body with that of syricus was rescued by two maids who interred them privately in a field near the city when constantine had given peace to the church their burial place was revealed by one of the maids and the faithful came in crowds to venerate the two martyrs let us pray to saint syricus and saint julita for the courage to be intransigent in proclaiming the catholic faith even if it means facing criticism losing friends or being alone